Today we're in the Burren, a famously magical place for botany in Ireland, where Arctic, Alpine, Mediterranean, subtropical, woodland, meadow, alkaline loving, acid loving plants all live happily side by side. 75% of Ireland's native flora grow in the Burren. If you come to the Burren in summer, you're guaranteed to see orchids. The common orchids are plentiful and the rarer orchids are commonly spotted as well. The star of the show at the moment is the bee orchid, guaranteed to excite even the least botanically minded person. The flower mimics the bee in looks, in feel. The, it looks like the furry abdomen of the female bee. It even has antennae and a little petal that looks like a sting and it emits the pheromones, alimones, that mimic the pheromones of the female bee. It ha it's sitting on the three pink sepals and the seeds of orchids are so tiny they can't germinate without the help of the fungi in the root system to feed them. So this is a lovely population of the fly orchid. Not a classically beautiful flower, but certainly dark and dramatic and enchanting. It's mimicking a wasp and the petals forming the antennae and a silver band around the middle mimicking wings. It has yellowy green sepals and it also emits the scent of the female wasp to attract the males. So this is the bloody crane's bill. It's common in Ireland, but it's particularly abundant across the Burren, as you can see behind me. The flower has five pinky purple petals, slightly notched. And the anther in the middle, when the pollen is on it, is blue. The stem is slightly furry and has two bracts. The, the leaf of the bloody crane's bill is round and deeply lobed into five or seven lobes. And at the fruiting stage, you can see why it's called the crane's bill. It forms a beak with five little seeds at the bottom. The skin of this hull, when it ripens, it becomes red and divides into five pieces attached at the top. And with the spring force of the connective tissue, it catapults the little seeds like cannonballs away from the plant for dispersal. This is the burnet rose. It's my favourite plant in the Burren. It's a very hardy, rugged plant, but with a beautiful, delicate flower with five little heart-shaped petals. The leaves are in little pairs of leaflets and it's distinctive from the dog rose which is also flowering at the moment as the stem has straight thorns and lots of bristles. After flowering the rose hip becomes red and then purpley black so it's very evocative of the Burren and has a lovely subtle enchanting scent. So this is a very special flower the mountain avens it's part of the Arctic alpine element of the Burren flora. It's a symbol of the Burren along with the spring gentian. It has eight or more petals around a circle of beautiful golden stamens on a wiry stem. It's the national plant of Iceland and it's easily identifiable. The name Dryas means comes from the Greek oak and the leaves look like little oak leaves, dark green and shiny on the top and silver underneath. After flowering, the seed head becomes a little twisted parcel of feathers with an individual seed on the end of each one and then opens out into a pom-pom to be dispersed by the wind.